Today I'm gonna to show you guys a super simple way to remove under eye bags and get rid of all kinds of nasty things on your skin and do some general skin smoothing using the patch tool and the fade tool. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. We make learning Photoshop and photography fun. That's what we do. Today we're gonna to show you guys a really cool thing. Um, basically we're gonna be using the patch tool to get rid of some like under eye bags and things like that on the skin. But a really cool thing and a, lot of, a whole lot of people know about is we're gonna be using the fade tool as well as the patch tool to kind of get the best of both worlds. So these techniques you can use on pretty much any time you're retouching someone's face. So it's like really quick, really simple and uh, incredibly useful. All right, so let's get here in Photoshop. This is an awesome image and this is one of our contest winners. This is by uh, Carlos Reyes. Very, very cool. I love the color work and everything and uh, the subject, she's just, uh, her motion is great, and I don't necessarily have a huge problem with these areas under her eyes, but I thought it might be a great time to teach you guys something. So what we're going to do, I really don't like messing around with my background layer, so I'm going to hit Command J and duplicate my background layer, and then we're going to go straight to our patch tool. So here's the patch tool, it's located under the like spot healing and healing brush tool, um, so you want to just use the regular patch tool. And then if you're using like CS6 or Photoshop CC, you're gonna have some options to like actually make it a content aware patch. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use the totally normal patch tool. So we're gonna click on normal. We're gonna click here on source and destination, things like that. So here's how the patch tool works. Basically you select an area and click on it and drag it up and it kind of like makes one area look like another area. I'll show you guys. We'll just zoom in and we'll see about like this little guy here. So if I made a selection right around here and then clicked and dragged to another area and let go, Deselect by hitting Command D, it kind of just gets rid of that blemish. So really, really cool. Or you can select this area like that and say make it look like this and it'll add a blemish there. Just if you ever want to do that, you can do that too. Um, the cool thing is you can use this from like one photo to another. So if like you have one photo of someone with really like clean skin and one photo of someone with skin who needs a bit of work, you can actually patch from one image to another. Just like put them side by side as different layers on the same document. But Today what we're gonna do is handle something a little bit larger. We're gonna be doing like under eye bags and things like that. So zooming in here, we're gonna see, she's got you know this dark area and things like that. Now the big thing when you're using something like the patch tool, basically you just wanna circle around the area that you actually want to change. So we're just gonna circle around that and then click and drag that to an area that's similar but doesn't have like, um, doesn't have, you just want like a, a cleaner looking version of that. So that's kind of a horrible description, but basically just click here and like drag down to there where we don't have the under eye bag or you know somewhere like right over over here as well, where it's just kind of like skin. So I'm gonna let go. Now, you're, you still have those dotted lines, so I'm gonna hit Command H so we can actually see what we're getting. The big thing, the patch tool is really cool, but you tend to get like, the edges don't always look perfect. So what I usually do is I hit the, I use the fade tool to then kind of like fade it out so we get a little bit better of a transition between what it, the patch tool gives us normally and um, something that looks a little more realistic. So to get to the fade tool, just go to edit and then down here to fade. Not a whole lot of people know about this, but the fade tool can actually be used to fade out anything you just did. So if you just did a brush stroke and you want it to be like less visible, you can use the fade command to do it or shift command F. So we're gonna go to fade, fade patch selection and then here with this slider, you can see right over here, as I lower down the opacity, it just kind of like changes the effect of what I just did. So you can he see here up at 100%, it's kind of too much. It doesn't look incredibly natural. But if I come down here a little bit more, it starts to like really blend in and look quite a bit more natural. So we're gonna hit okay. So just remember, shift command F and the patch tool. So I'm gonna just, do, I'm gonna do this a few times. Don't worry about like trying to get everything perfect the first go around, you don't have to. And if you wanna be able to see better what you're doing, just hit command H and that will kind of get rid of your little, um, that'll get rid of the selection for you. All right, we're gonna zoom back out and I'm just gonna take care of a couple like larger areas. All right, so here we go. We'll just kind of go right around there and um, shift command F and we'll just lower it back. Uh, somewhere between like 50 and 60% usually actually works pretty well. So, and you can just keep going with this, like kind of play around, I would say. Like don't, don't be afraid of this tool because the worst thing that happens, you know, we're on a, uh, we're on a new layer here so the worst thing that happens, you just like hit undo or you just delete the layer you're on and start over again. So um, I would really recommend getting in here and seeing what you can do. All right, and you can see really quickly, we are able to like totally clean up our eyes. And uh, what's nice is it, it really does look like very nice and natural because we use that fade command to make it look more natural. 
So we're even gonna take care of like around the nose. This area tends to get really dark in photos. So I'm just gonna make a selection right over here, right around the nose. And we're just gonna click and pull it over here. You do wanna try to like match the skin texture. Like if you're gonna, you know, sample around the nose, you don't wanna like go to someone's forehead because the skin looks a little different. So try to get somewhere at least relatively close. So we'll go there, hit Shift Command F, kind of fade that out a little bit, hit OK, and we're gonna go around the nose here. Basically anything that's like a, a dark patch or something that just doesn't look really that smooth, um, you're gonna be able to use this technique for all those areas. All right, bring that down over there. And we can even like take care of, you know, if you wanted her facial expression and not be like so harsh, uh, you could kind of take care of the same thing there as well. All right. There we go, shift command F for that as well. And I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. And you can see it just really takes care of a lot of, uh, there we go, a lot of the hard work for you. So again, the reason I love this technique guys is because you can use it on any photo you have for retouching and it's just, it's gonna be really simple and it's gonna work pretty much every time you do it. All right, cool, well that's pretty much it guys. So just using the patch tool, I'm gonna show you guys the before and the after here. So there's the before and the after, a really quick, easy way to remove under eye bags and things like that. And uh, the nice thing about it is you don't have to think and you don't really have to be good at retouching. You just like click the area, move it out, and then fade it away until it looks good and you're good to go. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching Flurn. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comment below. Do you guys like this technique? Do you wanna see some other skin retouching techniques? We've got tons and tons of them. And be sure to share them with your friends as well. Thanks so much guys. We'll Flurn you later.